Hello Warriors! Welcome to Kia Plays Masamune Dante Story Mode. Let's continue on. Lord Kodro does as he is told and once the whole army is gathering, they all await their orders. Our mission is to clear. We cannot allow the Hakatamagata to escape this time. The men murmur all around me. We will take care of them all here and now. On my signal, you are to fire. Fire until all of them are dead. Move out. His voice is like a blade cutting through their whisper and leaving only silence be behind. It is a silence so piercing that even the wind dares not to disturb it. A silence so profound that lingers painfully in the ears. Um, um... Unable to stand the silence any longer, I timidly start to speak. We're going to rescue Lord Turume, aren't we? Yahiko. Lord Kodro hisses my name through clenched teeth. Our fifth first priority is to defeat the enemy. Do not hesitate to fire lest you wish to answer me. But Masamune, Lord Zane steps forward, his voice hoarse as if he is struggling to speak. I'm sorry, I don't want to cast doubt upon your judgment. I really don't, but Yahiko is right. Lord Torumi is your father. And what's the problem? You're not serious, are you? Lord Zane strides straight up to Lord Masamune, grasping his sh collar. But Lord Masamune does nothing, only stare him down with those cold, merciless eyes. Zane, you forget yourself and who you serve. Are you not aware that we are on the battlefield? We are going to defeat the Hakidama before they have a chance to send for reinforcements. I will not tell you again. Zane, this is in order. Follow it or step down as a retainer of the Dante clan. Lord Masamune's threat seems to work as Lord Zane slowly drop his collar. As you wish, my lord. I will accept all punishment for my disrespect after the deed is done. And with that, all the retainers take their position to fire into the Hakitama whatever camp, despite Lord Dante still being inside. This is getting interesting. I love it. As we move to our position, I find myself looking back at Lord Masamune over and over again. His expression has not changed, but I can tell that he's tense. My breath shudders out of me, made rigid by the subtle tremble of my body. Does Lord Masamune really intend to Sacrifice his own father to bring down the Hakitama. As someone who lost her own father to war, having to stand by and watch this is the stuff of nightmares. I'm so scared. Yahiko, water. My lord. I offer him the seal bamboo flask still at my side. However, I drop it at the moment his hand touches mine. F forgive me, my lord. I hurriedly tried to pick it up, but I'm so nervous that I can't get a good grip on it. 
Eventually, he picks it up himself as if he cannot stand to watch me struggle any longer. Is this your first battle? Yes. Ah. There's so much sadness in that single word that it startles me. I feel my eyes go wide as I look at him. So it's almost that time again. He stands the flax in his hand and looks down at me with a quiet sigh. Damn, he is so sexy. He is so freaking sexy. I can just stare at him all day long. I don't even know who's sexy, Mitsunari or Masamune. Well, they're both sexy. His face remains unchanged save for the flicker of sadness in his eyes. I remember my first battle. I was just like you, Lord Masamune. But I never left the safe place you can be in battle. Do you know where that is, Yahiko? I shake my head. Right by the general. No soldier will let that go unprotected. Oh? So you're telling me to be by your side at all times, huh? Unless you want to die, do not leave my side. Okay. I'll do that. I'll stand by your side, Masamune. It is time. Lord Masamune sits tall on his horse and one hand in the air. The Dante army loads their weapons, click click everywhere, and raise them. Fire! He swings his arm downward, swift as a blade, and countless gunshots ring out at once, the air filling the with smoke. My heart struggles to free itself from my chest, throbbing painfully amidst the sound of gunfire, the taste of smoke, and the voices of the... Young Dante, Lord Masmui, hurry! It is over in an instant. A cry, smoke, hangs in the air. The whisper of the dying reaching our ears in a clear, desperate cry. Lord Masamuni, over here. Lord Terminate is still breathing. Lord Terminate, whatever you call him. Lord Masamune takes off at a run and so do I. Lord Terminate, whatever is spun on the ground, blood gushing through a gunshot wound with every breath. That blood consumes me, fixated me completely. Ma Masamune, you did well. Father. Lord Masamune kneels, taking his father hand and looking at him instantly as if to memorize his face. Take care of Oshu and my wife. Lord Termini cough, shudders, and falls limp against the dirt. Already I can hear the sobbing of his men all around us. Lord Masamune, however, is silent, save for the sound of his clothing moving as he stands. We are going back to yo ya ya za his face looks exactly the same as it always has. The personification of its silence itself. And that small flicker of something behind his eyes that I had seen before battle, it too is gone. Only a calm si stillness left behind. Though Lord Terminate funeral is held shortly after our return to Yonizade Castle, the air is still heavy with his loss. I thought he was already dead anyways. Well, I now I know that Masamune's parents were still alive though. So I got a dire entry of um Masamune's father, but I'm not gonna read that because I don't give a shiz. I read that off cam cam.
Several days after the funeral, Yonzawa Castle is buzzing with the rumor that Lord Masamune shot his father in cold blood. Hey Yahiko, I guess Lord Masamune is just as scary as we thought, huh? One of the retainers who had helped me during the hunt find me in the hallway and pulls me aside. He is not. Don't you remember how he was the one who saved us from the wild dogs? Yahiko is right. A familiar voice says, authoritatively, from behind me, I turn. Lord Zane. No man alive has that much terror in his heart. Say that of Masamuni again and you'll have to answer to me. Got it? Yes, my lord. Forgive me. With a deep bow, the retainer quickly disappeared down the hall. I know that was not an easy decision for him to make him more than anyone. Lord Zane murmurs bitterly, a pressed smile on his face. Yahiko, take care of him. I'm counting on you. You know, your smile kind of creeps me out, to be honest, because it's so damn bright. As the other clans begin to hear the news of Lord Termini's death, it appears that they see it as an opportunity. In short, more than one of them see his death as the perfect excuse to declare war against Masamuni and the Dante clan. The meeting shall begin any minute. Would you call Masamuni here? Right away, my lord. Do <laughs> On my way to Lord Masamuni's room, I am stopped by the sound of a woman shrieking. Murder? Demon spawn? That's Lord Masamuni's mother, Yoshiheim is screaming at him, her fingers shaking angrily before she gives up and storms out. Her kimoto sleeve hits me in the chest as she strides past me. Stunned, I just stare wide-eyed at Lord Masamune. Uh, um... I stammer, unsure of what to say. Lord Masamune looks away awkwardly, asks me if it's time for the meeting in a terse mumble and follows me out when I leave. That night, I prepared dinner for Lord Masamune as usual, but my surprise, he stops eating before he finished even one serving. Well, he's depressed because his mother called him a murderer. Masamune just had to do what he had to do. Sheesh. I'm done. Get it out of here. What? Maybe he doesn't like what I made. Um, do you not like it? I want to know why he isn't eating. However, when I ask, Lord Masamuni shakes his head. No, it's as good as ever. It is? Then why weren't you eating it? Actually, he's been acting strangely ever since that day on the battlefield. The following day, when I start to prepare Lord Masamune's meal as usual, Lord Kodro pulls me aside. Lord Masamune does not have an appetite at the moment. Could we have you bring it to his room later? Yes, of course. I is he not feeling well? Taking a deep breath, I resolve to make Lord Masamuni his favorite meal tonight in a desperate effort to get him to eat. Ah, That's all? Oh well. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end it here right now. Where is- wait, my chemistry went up. That's good. That's good. But yeah. 
Stay awesome. Take care. Until next time, Kia plays. Um, Samurai Love Ballad Party. Masamuni Dante Story. Bye.